Ciao Tesla people, uh, I'm going to do a supercharge uh, charge and um, going again to the same supercharger uh, and I didn't do the um, A2 um, a, um, monthly plan yet, I need to figure out that stuff uh, it's much cheaper than supercharger and uh, we'll do a talk, uh, I'm going to call it uh, charge talk or supercharger talk and we'll talk about all the changes that uh, happen in the uh, Tesla uh, software updates and other news. And um, you come with me. I'm going to do a time lapse to get there. And then we'll see you uh, when I get there and start to charge. And see you in a bit. So I got to the supercharger here in Florence and on the way it says uh, that there were two people. Well, in reality, there is nobody. Completely empty, which is good. Nice. Let me check again. Charging. Uh, charging. Okay, I'm at 30%. Uh, I'm going to charge to 85. Let's see how it goes. Um, and that's it. It's kind of warm too. Blue, 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 blue. Green. Cool. Never fail until now, which is good. Uh, okay, so it's charging at uh, this hour 150 kilowatts uh, supercharger, and I'm charging 130, 137, 137. That's that's usually the peak that I see. Should take 35 minutes. I'm at 30 percent and charging up to 85. Cost 0 0.46 euro per kilowatt hour. Pretty cool. So, I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to fix some stuff and then we'll do the uh, supercharger talk. So, I wanted to start this uh, supercharge or charge talk. Um, basically, talking about uh, what happened in the past uh, two weeks or so one week in the Tesla uh, community and Tesla news. Um, so, the first uh, thing that I want to talk about in the past two weeks, I got Two software, two, two software updates 
and there was uh, the 2026, no, 2024 2.6. And the previous one was um, 2024.2.3. So let's talk about a bit uh, just the changes that they, they uh, bring. Um, so the first change was that uh, it will um, show you the time until charging starts. Um, basically, when you arrive and you plugged in, um, if your vehicle battery has not warm, warmed up um, enough, you'll see how long it will be until the DC fast charging starts, okay? Um, right here, it shows me um, how long will it take to uh, finish. I'm already at 40%, so I'm uh, almost halfway, pretty good. And then you'll get an estimate. The other change was an estimate battery range update, basically, uh, so your estimate battery that you have uh, here on the pad, right there, um, 41%, you will estimate, that estimate is based on the battery degradation too, in addition to everything else, which is really good. And then supercharger, supercharging in cold weather. So when you supercharge in cold weather, you get a, if the battery is too cold, you get a snowflake on the battery icon that is uh, on top of it there. Okay. Nice. Just uh, more information is all good. The ultra wide band uh, phone key. So there are some phones that they have problems to when you approach the car, the car will open, um, will unlock basically. And some phones have problems. So some phones have this technology called the ultra wide band. Uh, my phone has it, and uh, some iPhone uh, have it too. And so we'll allow to, with Bluetooth, we'll allow to uh, make sure that this this feature is unlocking, feature is, uh, um, is good. Uh, you know, it's not uh, flaky. So we'll, it will improve uh, this. Now, a you get a reminder to plug in at home. So if you charge at home, and you are below 50% of your charge, you get a notification that you can charge uh, your car or to charge your car. And then there is an improved uh, ride and handling, uh, get more consistent response on different road surfaces and greater comfort on rough winding uh, uh, pavements in sport mode or when custom ride handling is set to focus uh, also, expect reduced pitch and body roll in off-road mode, okay? Let's see if this change had, uh, actually happened because... Um, so, I have... Uh, in sport mode, sport mode, you can uh, uh, off-road, start slip, you can customize handling balance stability assist okay regen is 100% okay anyway nice change and then there is uh, the over the air update recall which is the ridiculous one the one that in the United States they got a recall because the font size of certain icons, the brake, the ABS, and the park were too small. So Tesla increased it by a fraction of a millimeter or something like that. Oh, it's just weird. I, I have no idea why, why they do that. And then the adaptive high beams. So my car has uh, matrix uh, lights, but uh, I didn't get this uh, feature yet. Basically, the adaptive high beams, the matrix lights for Model 3 Highland, they got it. And basically, when you have high beams and you're driving around at night, and if the car comes on the opposite side, uh, the, the lights adapt to not blind the other car driver, which is a safety feature, and hopefully we'll get it soon. We got a more efficient charging. 
which is always good. Uh, I'm checking out, I'm at 50% already. Some security uh, improvements. And then we got a lock button uh, on the uh, console here. Basically, if there is somebody inside, if somebody is approaching the car, try to open, you get uh, an unlock button here, here that you can press and unlock the rear back uh, button. Then we get a trip uh, trips menu uh, redesign. So if you go to trips, they redesign this UI and they, okay, first of all, um, the color behind the, the these lines uh, became gray and then the reset uh, or pick um, selection is on this side before it was all the way down. So it's better like this uh, because you get uh, right away the selection. What else? And then there is a supercharging tips. When to charge, uh, how to arrive, you know, the percentage, all the stuff. Uh, pin to drive. The pin to drive has uh, some minor uh, design changes. Okay, they noticed that. And then uh, in the menu here, before, you, if you select this button here, it will show you the menu or all the apps. It won't show, it didn't show the ones that you have on the console here, but now it will show all the apps. So you don't miss any apps, okay? is good and then more information the uh, vehicle info okay great and then you get on the phone all the way to the bottom you get the software version in app basically uh, right now it'll show you that the version is uh, 11.1 and when we'll get uh, version 12 it will appear that too okay minor changes and 2.3 yeah the white band would talk about it yeah, and that's it. So these are all the changes that um, 2024, that 2, that 6, and that 3 brought to the Tesla. Of course, all these changes depends on what, in your location. For example, in Europe here in Italy, we didn't do they didn't do the recall for the icons, which didn't make any sense. Um, that's it. So. Um, so this uh, chart stock, um, I'm going to improve, of course, uh, and my basically by bringing other news of the Tesla for the week or for the 10 days or two weeks, depending on when I charge. Um, let me know what you want to want me to talk about it for maybe articles online or some other news, the Cybertruck or the refresh Model Y or how different, uh, what differences uh, there are in Europe, in the US, um, all this kind of stuff. Um, let me know, I appreciate some suggestion. Uh, just uh, leave it uh, in the description, in the comments. Um, in the meantime, subscribe to the channel, it will help me a lot to put a like. And uh, let's finish the charge. I have 20 minutes left, I'm already 57%. Let me see how much you're spending here. I'm spending 11 euros for 24 kilowatts, which is great. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. So I'm almost done. I'm 84%. So it's five minutes to go. Usually it's a couple minutes. Anyway, the price is 0 0.46 uh, euros per kilowatt hour. And I paid uh, session cost 21 and 83 euros probably it's going to be 22 euros and i charge uh, until now 47 kilowatts 47 kilowatts hour which is pretty good uh yeah done let's do let's unplug and we get it away from here okay And done. Charge session was pretty good. Uh, everything went well. 
there are two cars. People are yelling at each other. It's just not good. Come on, people. It's not the charging, just stupid things. Anyway, everything went well. Uh, charging session went well. Everything got charged correctly, no problems. We'll get home and uh, I'll see you in a bit. In the meantime, put a like and subscribe to the channel. So I'm back home, um, charging was good, uh, everything went well, um, it was pretty much empty, there was nobody, two Tesla came later on. Anyway, I'm going to leave my Tesla referral in the description, uh, if you use it, you get up to three months of free FSD, which is a good perk, or if you do a, a test drive with Tesla, check it out, and also the links about the accessories that I installed on my uh, Model Y. Check them out too, and please uh, subscribe to the channel, put a like, turn on notification if you already subscribed, and I'll see you on next video. Ciao Tesla people!